Everybody wants to know about this Nashville chicken, this hot chicken. And we got our stud, Matt Frampton here, the pit master. Matt's got a spin on it that's crazy. And it's going to be great for any type of day, any type of weekend, any type of party. So show us what you got, man. What do you got going on over there, man? So we're going to make some Nashville hot chicken bites, which is perfect for tailgating season. I know there's a lot of football coming up. Then when we're done with that, we're going to make a Nashville hot chicken personal sized pizza, which you can set out for a party or do on your tailgate or anything like that. Sounds good, bud. I can't wait. So I have some chicken thighs trimmed out here. I'm just going to coat them with a little oil. Today I'm choosing duck fat. You can use any oil that you'd like. So we're just tossing this here. I actually marinated this chicken for about four hours in some buttermilk, which will make it a little more tender. I have two cups of pork panko here, and there's a company that actually makes this. You can buy this stuff, carb-free and super tasty. And then also we're gonna mix in some Cosmos Q wing dust, the Nashville hot chicken flavor, a quarter cup of that, we're just gonna whisk it together, put it in with the chicken. Again, that, that duck fat kind of acts as a binder. You with me? I'm here, buddy. I'm here, I'm just watching you do your magic. So describe to the, to the viewers what Nashville hot chicken is. Absolutely, so Nashville hot chicken is a traditional dish in the South, kind of like buffalo chicken, but you don't get that vinegary taste. It's a drier, more straight hot, type of flavor and normally in the south they make sandwiches out of it and there'll be some pickles on there usually dill pickles or something like that and it's on a nice big bun so we're just setting these out on the rack so we can get them onto the smoker these are all bite-sized just for reference you know there's my there's my fist I'm gonna hit these with a little more duck fat too it's like smoker fried chicken all right, we have this Nashville hot chicken all breaded up, ready to go on the smoker. We're just gonna put it in on this pan, put them on the green mount at 525 degrees, right in the center like this. It'll take about 15 to 20 minutes and they'll be ready to go. All right, while the Nashville hot chicken is sitting on the cooker, we're gonna actually make this lemon dill, it's super creamy sauce that we're gonna put on the Nashville chicken. We're also gonna use it on the pizza as our sauce a half a cup of mayo of your choice or so, about a quarter cup to a half a cup of this Mexican sour cream, which is super runny and tasty. You can use regular sour cream too, but I really like this stuff. We need the juice of half of a lemon. Just gonna cut it in half, half of a lemon. I like it super lemony. You can put as much in there as you want. And then we're gonna put some fresh dill Again, as much as you'd like, but I like a lot in there. I think it adds a, a nice punch. So I'd say we have three or four tablespoons of fresh dill, and then we're just gonna add a little bit of all-purpose. That's just a salt, pepper, garlic, all-purpose. Not super runny, but not very stiff either. So you can kind of see the consistency that we got going on there. I wanna use this sauce in the squirt bottle, so we're just gonna transfer it to a simple squirt bottle here. It is time to check on these. It's been about 15 minutes. 185, 190, that's fine. They'll just be tender, rendered down, super crispy. Listen to that sizzle. Oh man, sizzle city. All right, let's take these Nashville hot chickens. We're gonna transfer them to this platter now that they're done and finish them up for our party. We're just gonna lay a pickle on top of each one of these. Don't go rubbing your eyes. These are Famous Dave's Devil Spit Pickles. They're super spicy by themselves. We're just gonna take our sauce, give all these a drizzle, then you just take a toothpick, stick it right through, and then boom. I don't know why, I'm just choosing this one right in the middle here. Yeah, that's probably the one. Got the pickle, super easy to pick up. Got the super spiciness from the Nashville hot chicken, and you got some heat from that pickle but the lemon dill sauce really mellows it out. Okay, well, you're gonna make a pizza out of it now? I think we're gonna make a pizza out of this. Okay. That That's crazy town, man. That's crazy town. You made these nice little bites, and now we're gonna make a pizza out of it? My outdoor grilling dough by Urban Slicer works awesome. This is actually one package, and it created five crusts. You can see I've just pre-grilled it just a little bit. 
We're just gonna do a little bit of our sauce here down at the base, just a little. And then we're gonna take our Nashville hot chicken and just sort of break this on to our flatbreads. And we're gonna put the Nashville hot chicken on, then we're gonna add some cheese. What I'm using for a cheese here is just a whole milk matz, very little of it. If you use a whole milk matz, it should melt nicely. And then we have some crumbled queso fresco, which I thought kind of adds a, a nice twist of flavor and some meltiness to go with that spicy Nashville hot chicken. You don't need a pizza peel or anything for this. You can just take these and put them right on the grill. They'll cook for about 10 minutes or so until the cheese is nice and melty. These are called Peppadoo peppers. I don't know if you've ever seen those before, but they're like a pecani pepper. These are actually super sweet. So they're gonna go real nice with the heat that we already have in the Nashville hot chicken. All right, and we've got some pickle left over here. We're also gonna chop up some fresh dill. It's been about 10 minutes. Oh yeah, look at how melty that is. And I'm actually gonna cut into this pizza and then put my toppings on. It kind of heat, it keeps the presentation of the pizza a little more pretty. We're just gonna cut this into fourths, so down one way, down another way. We're gonna take some pepperdew peppers, a couple of pickles, and then we're gonna throw a little fresh dill on there, and then a little more of our lemon dill sauce on each slice. There you have it, you're ready to go. You can have two options with the same base protein, Totally different flavor profile, different application. One of them is just a slice. The other one, we've got the bite size on a toothpick. Oh man, let's see how this tastes. It's good. It is delicious. It is fantastically delicious. It's got a, so many layers of flavor. The lemon dill, the spicy Nashville hot chicken, the spicy pickles, those pepperdew peppers are sweet, the fresh dill, all on top of that crispy crust. I like my own food, I guess, yeah. All right, Matt, man, this food, unbelievable, man. I am definitely gonna be making this stuff. The hot chicken with the panko, that pork panko looks amazing. And the sauce that you made, we're excited, man. Thanks for coming on, bud, I really appreciate it. Thanks, Jason, always a pleasure. Can't wait till next time.